Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. This is the biggest fear SEF investors have in this market. Many SEF investors worry about dividend cuts. And sure, there is something to keep in mind. But SEFs are NT the same as stocks. When we invest in high quality SEFs, there are a few other things we remember. Think when we get wind of a cut. Before we go any further, let us really stop for a moment and talk about the importance of diversification. Having a portfolio of multiple SEFs can ensure that your income doesn't change significantly. If you choose profitable funds that have large discounts to NAV and solid fundamentals that make them profitable over the long term take for example, two very different funds. The Nuveen Real Asset Income and Growth Fund, a holding of my SEF Insider Service, that holds primarily stocks of real estate mutual funds, utilities and pipelines and bonds issued by these companies, undi the corporate bond-focused PIMCO High Income Fund. What we're seeing here is a history of very small payout cuts over time, including a penny per share cut last introduced by JRI earlier this year. PHKS cuts are bigger, but appear to be lagging behind as dividends have remained stable since early 2020. Now consider this. Although PHKS dividend has been stable for the past three years, it has made investors less money. Sure, JRIS recent cut in penny per share cuts its payout a hair's breadth, bringing its current yield to 8.7% for 9.6%. But this is still a very high source of income. And if you re not happy with JRIS dividend cut from early 2020, you can always sell and then reallocate the profits to another SEF with a higher yield. Such an eye for value is why JRI is still a strong performer. Adding to its appeal is the fact that it is still trading at a huge discount of 13.3% to NAV, while the underperforming PHK is trading at a premium of 11%. Cut in October 2017 when the dividend was cut by half a penny per share. This cut was one of the reasons I recommended JRI to SEF Insider members. Referring to Nuveen, I wrote in the October 2017 issue 